I'd like to call a rebuttal witness, Your Honor. Sergeant Blanca Rodriguez. Sergeant Rodriguez, did we investigate the St. Patrick family together? Yes, and their associate, Tommy Egan. Did Tasha St. Patrick have reason to believe that Terry Silver might testify against her, against her husband, or against their friend, Tommy Egan? Yes, she thought he had information. Did Tasha St. Patrick lead us to the body? She told us where to look. Yes. So is it reasonable to assume that she was involved? Possible to conclude that maybe she ordered the hit to shut him up? Yes. Sergeant Rodriguez has more to say. And she will, at trial. When this goes to trial, you make sure I testify. Tasha is no queen pin, and Sax is dirty as fuck. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghosts. Blanca Rodriguez has returned. What's next for her character? Now, I know a lot of people have been asking about her, especially after episode one, um, especially after she was the one to arrest Tasha at the end of Power Season 6. Everybody wanted to know where Blanca was, and now she has popped up because your boy Cooper Sachs, he has hired an investigator to, you know, pretty much get your girl Tasha and he wants to gain as much evidence as he can to, you know, have that leverage over Tasha and to try to prove that she was the queen pin, even though Cooper Sachs knows that Tasha did not do this. But the pressure from the Democratic Party, the pressure from John Mock and Stephen Ott has gotten to your boy Cooper Sachs and he has to do his job, right? He's playing both parts we definitely going to talk about that in this video now the last time we saw your girl blanca she was arresting tasha but what happened right before that if you don't remember let's just take a look at that video hey. you got knocked the fuck out damn mommy what happened damn if your man did that you need to talk to somebody First of all, I don't have a man. Second, this was a gift from your boy, Andre Coleman. Now, as we know and as we saw in the past, Blanca, she caught those hands by your boy, Dre. And we already know what happened to Dre, but that's what we kind of remember when it comes to her character. He laid her straight out. But now, let's talk about what we saw in the last episode when we talking about Blanca Rodriguez. Now, of course, as I told you guys, Cooper Sacks, he knew exactly what he was doing by bringing her in, investigating Tasha, investigating all the evidence that he has. He decided to bring Blanca in and to ask her questions that pretty much she's going to say yes to. All the questions that he asked her, he knew she had to say yes. You see what I'm saying? And it's nothing that she can really say about this. These are all facts that he's, you know, he he knows the answer to already. So it was very smart for him to do that. I believe that your girl Blanca is definitely going to have the upper hand at the end of this little journey for her, but her being brought in was perfect strategy, especially if they don't want to drop this case. Of course, the Democratic Party, Stephen Ott, John Mock, they want to keep this case going on. They want to prove that Tasha was the queen pin and asking her about Terry Scoop Ball Silver was the perfect strategy. I mean, we know that Tasha... She did lead them, I mean, exactly to the body. And this is what I was talking about in season six. I'm like, she's leading you directly to the body. You have no evidence that Ghost did this. But what you do have, you have evidence that Tasha led you to the body. I mean, it's quite obvious. I mean, Tasha was pretty much incriminating herself all last season by just opening up her mouth. And this is exactly what Cooper Sack knows. And this is why he's like, okay. She's going to pretty much say yes to everything I asked her. And yes, she does have other opinions about the situation as far as Tasha killing Terry Silver and also Tasha being involved. But Cooper Sacks knows that Blanca has to say yes. And we can assume even if Tasha is not physically um, capable of taking out Terry Schoolball Silver, that Tasha probably could have put out the hit uh, you know she could have been a part of this who really knows but what we do know is Tasha was the one that gave up the location which was very accurate because they found the body right 
Now, of course, Blanca was very pissed off because Cooper Sacks asked these questions. And she's like, look, at trial, remember to bring me up there. Make sure I'm able to come up there and talk and testify because I'm going to pretty much throw him under the bus. This is exactly what Blanca is going to be waiting for because you already know in season six of Power, um, your boy Cooper Sacks was doing a lot of dirty stuff. And he was starting to get Blanca, uh, pretty much a Blanca associated with some of the dirty stuff that he was doing that's why they kind of fell out and then you know cooper sax he was the first person to play to pick blanca up that's why i showed you guys that clip because remember cooper sax was right there he helped blanca get up so blanca is like man how are you here that quick how did you even find out about this you know what i'm saying uh, you were here and didn't you lose your job i mean he was supposed to turn his badge and all that stuff in anyway but besides all of that uh, we know Cooper Sacks was definitely about to lose everything because Ghost has beaten everybody. And Cooper Sacks was very stressed out about all that. So he had nothing left. And then he's the first person there to pick her up. She's definitely going to bring that up. Um, and she's going to bring it up right in front of everybody. The question is, how is Cooper Sacks going to explain this? Um, of course, he's going to be able to say, look, this is why I was there. You know, I heard about it. I got there. You know, yes, I was the first person to pick her up or whatever. But he's going to have to explain some other things as well. And we are going to talk about Cooper Sacks later this week because you got a guy like Cooper Sacks is pretty much he's working both sides of this race right here. But deep down inside and you can just tell by his body language. He knows he needs to be doing something to help out Tasha and Tariq, but he has a lot of pressure from the Democratic Party and he's he's more on that side than anything. He's more on his job side than anything because John Mock can say, you know what, you're going to lose your job if you don't work our way and work in our favor. Um, Blanca Rodriguez will be a key factor because she will be, she will be able to expose Cooper Sacks and then once Tasha and Tariq finally say something, they will expose Cooper Sex as well. And his little journey may not be good. And like I said, we definitely want to talk about Cooper Sex and the stuff he's been doing. He's been playing this very smart, but he's only he's only investing in, you know, the Democratic Party and John Mock. He's not playing the other side. He should be trying to do something that's going to get himself out of this loophole because as of right now, it's all building up. And Blanca Rodriguez, you already know, she's very consistent. She's not going to forget about this. She's not going to forget about any of the stuff that Cooper Sacks has done. And she will expose him um, at the end, in my personal opinion. She's definitely going to do that. Um, I'm glad that Blanca Rodriguez is back because for a second, I'm like, man, you know, she's gone. But as I told you guys, you know, she pretty much said the asterisk actress that plays her Monique she pretty much said that you know she may just pop up she was kind of hitting at it on her Instagram and the um, IMDB website is not very accurate this season they have done a great job at hiding certain casting um, a lot of people believe that certain characters are only going to be in a few episodes but it seems like a lot of these characters are popping up out of nowhere and that these you know characters are in more episodes than the website is showing so that means we can be surprised by a lot of different things we don't know who's going to pop up at any time you just got to watch and see what's going to happen but you guys let me know man what do you think about your girl Blanca Rodriguez popping back up do you believe she's going to come at Cooper Sacks at the end of the day um, of course I do she's definitely going to get that payback and she will expose him um, at the trial but um thank you guys once again I will be dropping more videos for you guys check out my power book to ghost episode three what to expect video i dropped that earlier so check it out if you haven't seen it and also check out um the episode two recap and i will be breaking down more videos this week for you guys but um keep supporting your boy and i will continue to bring you more power content in the future but let me get on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace